This is a, an area where lots of wildlife crosses through here. From this camera, I've had a grizzly bear sow and two cubs come right here. It was around this time last year. I've also seen elk, deer, tons of cattle. I've seen a badger, a fox, coyotes. Photographer Louise Johns is in Yellowstone National Park. And for the last three years, she's been using camera traps to photograph local wildlife in and around the park. There's a wolf pack that lives here and there's quite a large density of grizzly bears. One of the greatest densities in North America is actually here. By sharing her photos with local biologists and ranchers, Louise documents the predators that share this ecosystem. That sharing of information with the biologists and all of the people in this community working together to try to coexist in a wild place, that I think that this is one tool that can help with that. The ranching families in the area keep close watch over their cattle. And this morning, Louise is saddling up to photograph a cattle count with a local range rider, Melissa. She's out there keeping tabs on the cattle, keeping tabs on the wildlife. And a range rider would be the first person on the scene if there is a depredation. And ranchers can be reimbursed if there's been a loss by a grizzly bear or a wolf. If they discover a dead cow, there's a good chance a predator may still be in the area. As soon as I get to the herd, I'm immediately looking for any signs of sickness or injury, anything that might make them vulnerable to predators. We need, want to know about as quickly as possible so that we can move the herd or remove the carcass just to prevent the predators from being attracted to the cattle and to that as a food source. But there wasn't always such an overlap of predators and cattle in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. This ranching family has lived here since the mid-50s and they've seen a lot of changes in the landscape over that time. You know, there weren't nearly as many grizzly bears and, you know, there weren't wolves when they first came here. Thanks to past conservation efforts, wolf and grizzly bear populations have increased, but this also means more encounters between these predators and cattle. Back at the ranch, Louise talks with a rancher about the predators that share his land. You want the wildlife to share the landscape with you, so trying to figure out ways to coexist. It's not necessarily about blaming bears and wolves for doing what they do best. It's about accepting our own responsibility on the landscape, too. With the information that Louise provides about the wildlife that inhabits their land, ranchers have employed new strategies, like range riding, and the number of cattle lost has declined. Equally important, Louise's work is proof that Yellowstone's wildlife and ranchers can coexist for centuries to come.